I'm here to talk about a product from Chanel. It's the Eau Tendre Hair Mist from the Chance line. Uh, a lot of people use the Chance line and it's super popular worldwide, but I haven't seen much reviews on the hair mist and that's why I decided to review this particular product today. So let's just talk about the notes of this product, uh, the Eau Tendre line specifically. The base note is white musk, amber, and cedar. The middle note is jasmine, iris, and jacinth. To be honest, I have no idea what that last one is. The top note is grapefruit. So overall, the scent is very floral. It's super pretty. Um, I feel like it's super popular among women in their 20s and 30s. So let's just compare this to the Eau de Toilette. The scent is a little more subtle and the lasting power is a little less, obviously. I would say four to five sprays of this in your hair, depending on your hair length, it does last me about three hours. Sometimes if I'm, I don't know, having a bad day, I feel like it only lasts about a, an hour. So I think the lasting power in your hair isn't too, too great. But um, another thing to consider is if this is safe to use in the hair. And what makes this the hair mist and not the perfume? So if you compare this to the ingredients list of the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum, the only difference, the only ingredient that really stood out to me is the castor oil. And we all know that castor oil is good for the hair, it is good for the skin as well. But still the number one ingredient on the list is uh, alcohol. And I'm a little skeptical as to how safe this is to be used in your hair because of that. And considering the fact that the only difference is the castor oil in there, I'm not too sure if this is worth the price. This is 60 uh, Canadian dollars and this is actually my second bottle. But the only reason why I repurchased this is because I wanted something a little more subtle and I needed it to match uh, the scent of my fragrance that I use on my body. But comparing the price, uh, let's talk about the largest size of the Eau de Toilette. That is $170 for 150 ml. That comes to about $1.13 per mil. And this hair mist is $1.71 per mil. So if you were comparing the price in unit, I would say this is a little more expensive. So after finding that out, I don't think I will uh, purchase this product in the future just because you could use the Eau de Toilette, uh, I wouldn't say directly into your hair, but I would spray it just on top of your head and let it sit on top of your hair and just kind of work that into your hair. I feel like that worked really well for me, uh, but I mean, we... If you are new to the Eau Tendre and you just kind of want to try it out and you don't want to spend over $100 to try out a product, I would say this is a really good entry product to kind of get the experience of what the scent is like. I mean, you could still use this on the body, so I see why not. And let's just talk about the packaging. Um, the silver lining, it's super c compact. Uh, that's what I like about this product because you could actually carry it around with you and just spray it in your hair whenever you feel like you don't smell it anymore but if you do that you end up running it through it pretty quickly and that's why I say I would rather buy the perfume yeah so considering everything I would rate this 7 out of 10 if you have used this product and you have any thoughts on this product, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching today and I'll be back with more reviews later. Bye!